Look on the screen. Look on the screen. I have often said on this channel that the mammies are a problem. I've often said I don't feel sorry for these dust buckets when they don't have any money, when they can't find a job. Maybe it's the dumb crap, the evil things that you do. Your background is the problem. I've often said there is no excuse because with a mammy, <clears throat> they're going to always have a place to lay their head, food to eat, clothes, vehicle to drive. These mammies will take care of these trash bag dust buckets like they're a forever child. Seriously, you're like, well, how does this 13, 16, this food, 35, 42? No, no, no. These mammies are a problem. The dusties can hide behind the mammies. The, the, the mammies are like the safeguard. They're going to protect them. They're going to make sure they got three hots and a cot. If the state won't, the mammy will. She will take care of her thorn to the very end at the expense of anyone. Look on the screen. I hope he never sees a light of day. I pray you make a wrong move and then it's a hashtag for you. So this mammy, this on the screen, he was, uh, I just got released in May, had served 16 years in prison. The mammy, I believe, goes out of town and lets him stay in her home. So he's got a home, driving a vehicle, and something horrible happens. I'm telling you, I'm so sick of these mammies. They are the safety net for dust. Let's go ahead and check out the video. Fair use. But a child, a nine-year-old child, is just it's beyond inexcusable. A little girl's bravery, help from the public, and strong collaboration between the Farmington Hills and Detroit Police Departments led to the arrest and jailing of an accused rapist. 40-year-old Aaron McDonald faced a judge Friday, the ex-con charged with kidnapping and raping a nine-year-old girl. One of his neighbors jarred upon learning of the allegations. I'm so shocked. I'm so scared. I have kids here. That's why I'm so scared. Police say McDonald lured the girl into his Jeep as she walked near 8 Mile and Grand River in Farmington Hills Sunday afternoon. He ultimately drove her to this home near 8 Mile in Berg in Detroit, where police say he strangled and raped her. At some point, the girl was able to get away, running from the home clad with only a blanket, a neighbor coming to her rescue and calling 911. Despite what she endured, she stayed calm. She escaped and she saved her own life and she probably saved the lives of other children. Neighbors say the house where the assault allegedly occurred belongs to McDonald's mother, who was out of town but left her son with access to it. Am I worry, and I don't like casting this person, but my God, if you know this particular individual had that type of propensity after just being released from this type of thing, why would you <coughs> give him the opportunity? McDonald was released from prison in May after serving 16 years of a max 30-year sentence for two counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct. We reached out to McDonald's mother, who declined to comment. Farmington Hills and Detroit police worked together to crack the case, along with help from other departments and the FBI. Investigators executed 20 search warrants at a number of locations, including McDonald's home in Oak Park, his Jeep, and the home where the alleged assault took place. DPD provided around-the-clock surveillance of McDonald after investigators identified him. It was important for us to keep eyes on him 24-7 so that he would not re-victimize. Police arrested McDonald Thursday. I cannot say um, with enough emphasis that it would not have happened but for these police agencies working together around the clock. All we wanted to do was do it right and find justice for this little girl. Farmington Hills Police Chief Jeff King says the jarring nature of these allegations should give the public pause and another reason and opportunity to warn kids about those who would prey on them. Now, Aaron McDonald remains locked up in the Oakland County Jail. He's being held without bond. I'm Randy Wembley. And if you notice, they said I was reading this. He committed the crime in the mother's home, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, not where he was. He committed the crime trying to, in his mother's home. 
And I bet you she is still going to stand by her phones. I hope those neighbors shun her. She comes out. Good morning. Don't say crap to her. Make her feel alienated. He committed the crime, not in his home, in his mother's home. And that's why you see the police th th there. He committed the crime in her home. And look what's happened. Oh, but y'all want to do what? Defund the police so these animals can run loose? You want to defund the police? Really? Really? What the hell you think will happen in Blackistan? You don't have many men that will defend the women and children. So the ladies will have to be strapped up. Get strapped up, buttercup. Defund the police. Really? You can't. The B.C., the behavior is out of control. The Dusties don't know how to live like people. Savages. Preying upon women and children. You want to defund who, boo? Yeah. Then you better be prepared to walk your kids to school and drive when they're strapped. And in some cities, you can't do that. You better be prepared as you're taking your bubble bath. Have that nine nearby strapped. You better be prepared as you're watching TV in your home to have that a rifle there strapped. If you're having this many, the crime rate's already increasing and we have police. What the hell you think will happen without them? These dusts will be out of control. And then something they're so clever, they're going to go out into the rural area. Please go. I I get you a bus ticket. They'll give you gas money. Please go to those rural areas because I can trust you. Little Timmy and little Jimmy is waiting on you, boo. It's not going to go down like that. You think you're going to, you know, you done tore up the inner city. So I saw something and they were saying, you know, they pretty much have, they've, you know, shaken down the area. Please go. Because in a rural town, more than likely, you're going to have a lot of white people. And pick up trucks and gus. Mm -hmm. Please, I beg of you, go on out there. See what you can do. Somebody gonna come back in a body bag. They're not gonna have it, boo. You're not gonna come out there. Oh, I see a little Tim. I'm going. What's going on, buddy? What you doing here? You're gonna start your stuff. I think you're all quick with it. And so many of them be shooting. They never get the they get the wrong person. I got a news flash for you, little Timmy, Bobby Jimmy. Uh-uh. Bub ain't gonna miss. You want to defund the police. Yeah, I saw a video and I was like, oh, which I knew, you know, when they, they destroy their community, they want to go out to other areas. Mm-hmm. Go out to that rural area because they believe in that gun. I understand. I do too. Oh, de definitely believe in it. But look at this here. Look at this. And you want to get mad, like I remember when I was doing my early videos when I say, Beware the angry black man, please have your gun in hand. Well, if not angry black man, don't be pissed off about it. A nine-year-old child, he's been in prison for 16 years, choked the girl. How you know he doesn't have a disease? HIV. Now, nine years old. She'll have to get checked out. Girl later could come out with a disease. Because of this trash right here. And the mammy. So mammy, he respects you so much. I keep saying, these justices, I believe they hate women. He respects her so much. He committed the crime in her home. You still loving your thons. And I bet she'll still support him. Might try to get a lawyer. Committing this kind of crime. So yeah, the mammies. They're gonna that's why I say there's no excuse. So there's no excuse. There is no excuse. 
Why? The man is going to always support him. And if they won't support a black woman like that. Oh, you got to make it on your own, girl. Well, are you a parent? You got to handle that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's why I don't want young black women, any young women, have children early unprepared. You can't realize your dreams, your aspirations, and you know you don't have a support system. But the mammies, the dusties, these low-performing men, low-performing specimen, they always have a support system. No matter what, no matter what, they always are going to have a support system because they're going to take care of this dust. This on the screen, the mammies are going to take care of no matter what. This right here, I still love my son. Not saying you can't love mess up to you, but he would be dead to me, boo. And she'll still support him, put money on a commissary account. This piece of trash. But you wanted to find who? Yeah, right. So this here, she gave him keys and access to the house. So now she's exposed the area by doing so. And she knows her son. Don't forget, in her mind, he ain't doing nothing. I hope they give him life. So by giving him kids access to her house, she don't give a darn. She exposed her neighbors to this trash. Mm -hmm. she, she did. She exposed her neighbors to this trash. If I give someone kids and they have a, so, oh, yeah, here you go. And uh, to get in the gate, here you go. I've, and I know the person is. Then, oh, my God, this person was going for a walk and a jog. What happened? Oh, I've exposed them to him because I gave him the key and I gave him the gate gate code, the, the fob to get in. So she exposed her neighbors to this piece of trash that she had. And look what has happened. Dusties and their mammies being trauma. They being drama. The psychological, the mental, financial implications. I wish we could get rid of all the dust in the nation. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.